Hi folks, Ken Everett here. I wanted to share with you a warning with regard to a product which I found on Instagram. What you're seeing on the left hand side of the screen at the moment is the Instagram post which uh, I was interested in. It looks like a, a travel tripod that would be very suitable for nature and landscape photography that I've been doing and plan to be doing. So I was very interested in it. There is much to be considered. I went to the website to be able to potentially purchase the product and went through the advertising. The more I looked at the advertising, the more I became concerned that this was potentially a fraudulent product, or at least a fraudulent offer for the product that they're showing here. Is there a problem? What led me to believe that was that when you look closely at the advertising material, uh, I recognized the logo for a company that I've bought a few other products from called Peak Design. And Peak Design has some really good products. I was not aware of a travel tripod that they have on the market. Uh, so I didn't really uh, initially associate this with Peak Design. But as I looked through the product material that they were presenting, particularly once I got on the website and started scrolling through and, and able to stop at different points, as I scanned through the material, I noticed a few references to Peak Design, to the term Peak Design. Now, if you weren't already familiar with the company Peak Design, you might think that that's just a name that they're giving to the travel tripod that they're advertising here. Non sequitur. Your facts are uncoordinated. So some people might not really recognize that this is potentially fraudulent. After seeing the references to Peak Design and recognizing the Peak Design logo, I went over to the Peak Design site and was looking at information on their site, which was apparently material that they had ripped off for this site that you're seeing scrolling on the, the left-hand side right now. And you'll notice that this is for a company called Hero Land. Interestingly enough, since I purchased the product to be able to test out my theory here, that website is no longer presenting this same information. So apparently they've taken it off their website. The original post that I purchased from was for a company called Tippa Tap Co. And I'll bring that site up here in just a moment and show you the information on uh, that website. Uh, that website still advertises the same product at the same prices that I originally saw on Instagram. I decided to go ahead and purchase the product even knowing ahead of time that it very well could be fraudulent. Insufficient data to resolve problem. Uh, there was a small chance that you know, maybe Peak Design is having this product made for them in China and maybe they're selling it uh, on a backdoor basis at a very steep discount. But based on the pricing I saw at Peak Design and the fact that they really were it, taking pre-orders at this point in time, uh, I really expected that it was going to turn out to be a disappointment. And, and that is exactly what happened once I received the product. Uh, you can see looking at the... Uh, tip a tap a co website that they still have this information as of the recording of this video for selling this at a price of forty dollars for a single one or eighty dollars uh, plus free shipping if you buy two of them at the same time as you can see here this is the website when you go to this site you can still see that they have this tribal tripod available for purchase you can see that the information about this includes a lot of information that apparently came from Peak Design's website. Uh, this is the logo that I mentioned earlier that I was familiar with for Peak Design, which initially triggered me thinking this must be some kind of a ripoff or fraud. As I scroll down here, you see this reference to the Peak Design travel pod. Of course, that could come across to some folks looking at this as being the name that this company is giving to their travel pod they're trying to sell you on. And as you can see, it, it shows that it should be able to handle a fairly large amount of weight and be very tall. It's fairly attractive because it's essentially nothing more than a ripoff. 
it's a waste of time and a waste of money. As you can see, when we get here, there's also another reference to Peak Design Travel Pod. Now, from what I can tell, the Peak Design Travel Pod, uh, based on all this marketing material and what I've seen it on Peak Design's site, looks like it's going to be a, a really nice travel pod. For anyone uh, naively walking onto this website and responding to the Instagram advertisement on social media, uh, it'd be very easy to get sucked into this ripoff. Show me. So let me show you what it is that I actually received. This is what I got for my $80. Actually, I got two of these. So maybe it's not quite that bad, but this is horrible. This is the sorriest piece of crap that I have ever seen referred to as a travel tripod. It barely qualifies as a toy tripod. The build materials are extremely flimsy, very low quality plastic. The pieces come apart very easily and the legs, while they do extend out, they're very weak. They don't slide very smoothly. The clasps are horrible. Breakdown can occur from many causes. And it doesn't extend to anything near the height that's advertised in the materials on their Instagram advertisement or on their website. So uh, this qualifies probably as one of the worst scams that I have seen for a photography product there's nothing really about this that is redeeming, quite frankly. Uh, it does have a little bracket here that I could use to put my cell phone up here. Unfortunately, the tripod head does not have any kind of quick release system. And the bracket that you can put on here for your cell phone is very stiff. And it may not even be big enough for me to put my cell phone in there very well. So I don't even see myself being able to use this to, for a tripod for my cell phone. I suppose someone could use it for that purpose. And if you're gonna pay $40 for it to just hold up your cell phone, okay. I still don't think that's a very good investment because you can get better products for that same price point and they're, they're much better quality. They're gonna last you a lot longer. There's no point in returning it because it's gonna cost me probably as much to return it as it is to buy it in the first place. So I wanted to make this video primarily to be able to warn folks against this particular product and also to make sure that you're warned to investigate any product that you see advertised on Instagram in particular uh, or any other social media site. Make sure that it's a legitimate company behind it. In this case, it looks like all the marketing material that they used to try to describe this tripod was stolen from Peak Design. And the tripod that they're delivering is nothing close to what they're advertising. I hope this video will engender a bit of caution when it comes to advertising material that you may find on Instagram, Facebook, other social media. Unfortunately, it's a place where you can very often get trapped by scams. In this case, this is clearly a bait and switch. I've referred to it as a faulty or bad product, but really the product that it's advertising uh, is in fact the peak design tripod that they are planning to come out with shortly. It looks like it's going to be a very good quality product, but this company that was advertising on Instagram was leveraging their marketing material to create a bait and switch opportunity. And for any of you that might be interested in the travel tripod that was being advertised, you could go to the Peak Design website. It looks like that's going to be a very good tripod. They are offering both an aluminum and carbon fiber version of it. 
uh, it's certainly a product worth looking into, but definitely go check it out on Peak Design's website. You don't want to try purchasing this through an Instagram post. As a side note, since I paid for this using PayPal, I should be able to file a claim using their purchase protection program and file a claim indicating that this item was significantly not as described. Hopefully this has been helpful and you'll use this information to avoid being subject or falling victim to a similar type of bait and switch. If it has been helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can be made aware of other videos as we put them on YouTube.